Welcome back, viewers and subscribers of AVT News. We call this the son of Nobe back again, uh, as we had promised again that we will be back with the all goings on at the nomination court. And we are focusing here right now on Bulawayo, where we have already previously told you that Donaldson Mabuto, who is the former deputy mayor of Bulawayo, was just recalled by Sengezo Tabang, gave us a hint that all of those who were recalled will contest again in this election uh, as members of Triple C. So they will contest under the Triple C banner. Yes, this seems to be the case all over uh, Bulawa and all over Zimbabwe, where some Triple C members of parliament and local government uh, councillors were recalled by Chabangu, who claims that he is the secretary general of the party and who won a court case to recall those uh, candidates or those representatives, councillors, senators, and MPs. So now what we have gathered, we have told you that we were not sure if Sengezo Chabangu was going to field any candidate. But now we have just been told that, yes, true to his word, to his earlier word, uh, which he told us, a few days ago that he is indeed going to fail the candidates uh triple c candidates that is and he's going to sign for them so now what we are told is that in bulawayo uh you all know him as a lawyer he's a human rights lawyer and this time he has gone to the nomination court in bulawayo to file nomination papers for council and parliamentary candidates for triple c uh who have been seconded by Sengezo Chabang, who claims to be the interim secretary general of the party. So what now happens is that Triple C will have double candidates uh, in those respective constituencies where members of parliament and council candidates were um, recalled. So now this is what has happened that in Bulawayo, we don't know about the other areas, but what we are we know for certain is that in Bulawayo, there have been double candidates, uh, or there have been uh, papers filed by members of the warring Triple C factions, both of them claiming to be the authentic Triple C. So there will be double candidates, and what we think is going to happen is that uh, if those were not seconded by Chabang lose as they did uh, i mean win as they did in august and chabangu's candidates chabangu's preferred triple c candidates lose we are likely going to see another set of recalls of triple c candidates that is the other option or that is the one option the second option being because what we have gathered so far is that while those who have filed their papers as independent candidates and those who have filed under ZANU-PF have been declared to be successful. Those who filed for Triple C, uh, having been recalled uh, by Sengezo Chabang, have had their status uh, indicating that they are pending. So it means that they haven't yet been finalized. And it's highly likely that Chabang could have told the presiding officers there that he is the only one who is allowed to sign papers for triple C, so which means that these who were recalled might eventually be disqualified. But this is something that we are not sure of as yet, because you remember that there is no law which says uh, people cannot find as double candidates unless and until a, a party official uh, has gone to the ZEC to say we are barring so and so or candidates who come here without this particular signature from standing uh, using the name logo colors uh, of this particular party we don't know as yet uh, if this has happened you'll remember what happened in 2005 which led to morgan swangerai ending up filing uh, papers for his party with an extension to the name mdc where he added t to indicate that this is MDC Swangirai. And again, uh, when there was a dispute between Towazani Kupe and Nelson Chamisa going to the 2018 
election because the court uh, ruled that both Kupe and Chamisa were factional leaders within the MTC, so they had to file with Chamisa's candidates filing as MTC Alliance and Kupe filing uh, simply uh, as MTC. So we don't know what is going to happen now, but there is a, a huge possibility that those who were recalled by Chabong might be disqualified or they might be double candidates, which may lead also to them being recalled again if they're not in good books with Chabang. We stand uh, uh, on the sidelines hoping to get uh, the main, main uh, story behind this. But so far, what we know is that one of the former candidates has stood uh, who stood in August as an independent, having been one of the nominated candidates for Triple C, uh, and who claims that he was uh, undone or outdone or uh, affected by the internal party squabbles, has filed again as an independent. The others who have filed, being, having been recalled by Chabahun, they have now filed again as triple C candidates because they claim that Chabang is not a member of the party. They claim that is not what he claims to be, which is uh, secretary general of the party. So they filed as triple C members. They are saying that even if they are recalled, they will go back again and file their papers as triple C candidates. So this is drama that is unfolding. Is uh, that we see a lot of uh, kid games being played. Is kindergarten stuff. Uh, the politics that they were now getting from the opposition and Chabang has seconded his, has just sent papers for his own candidates that he says are the genuine triple C candidates to the nomination court being represented by Utata Pulu uh, as the lawyer. So we will continue to update you on what is going to happen, but so far this is where it stands. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it.